Cameras have become a part of everyday life, keeping an eye on who comes to the front door, providing police with evidence of drivers who speed or run red lights in Des Moines. And this is where state lawmakers say cameras should go next inside your child's classroom. Some of those lawmakers anyway, this bill at the legislature would require it. Good evening, I'm Dan Winter. So the way this would work is that parents could watch a live stream of what's happening and teachers would be punished financially if that view is somehow obstructed. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson reports tonight on the cameras that are already capturing things that make parents furious. This is what happens in the hallways at Des Moines Public Schools. That leads to parents reacting like this. The fact that they are videotaping it, sharing it on different platforms, and thinking it's absolutely funny to do so repulses me. Lindsay LaGrange says last week her son, who's wearing the backpack in this video, was attacked when he was walking home from school. Now she's even more fed up with the violence. I had already gone to the school board once. I had already gone to the schools once before, many times before, being like, hey, this needs something needs addressed, the SROs need to come back. And the fact that this happened, I basically blew a gasket. A bill introduced this week in the Iowa House would put cameras inside public school classrooms, allowing parents to see what's going on. But LaGrange thinks... That is absolutely not enough because these children and their antics, they are looking for those administrators, those staff members, those teachers, just to turn their cheek for one second so they can haul off and do something. A DMPS spokesperson tells us more than a thousand cameras are already in place to monitor building exteriors and common spaces in schools. But LaGrange says social media pages where much of the videotaped violence is already posted shows what's actually going on. I don't feel like they're safe. They're not doing enough as a district. Now, I'm told the Des Moines Public School Board hasn't reviewed the bill in detail yet, but a spokesperson with the district said it seems concerning and problematic, Dan. Thank you so much, Kaylin.